Hello everyone. This is Matt Garning and I am Vijay. In today's video, we will look at a DIY project. It is going to be watering can. It will minimize your amount you use on your gardening. If you make more DIY projects on your gardening and reuse many things, then it will be useful to you that you can save more money. And the gardening is made affordable, economic, and not making you burden of money. How to make it? I have taken a 5 liter oil can. You can take any other kind of can which is which does have a handle. It's a 2 liter milk can and it is a 5 liter oil can. You can also get water can which is you can get it 5 liter or 4 liter bottle. And I have drawn designs. I have written I love gardening. I love nature, sorry. I love nature. And it looks pretty well if you draw designs. I've never drawn because it's pure color but it has some golden color. I don't like this kind of color so I just left it but I, I didn't like this color so I draw some designs on it. Okay let's check how to make holes, where to make holes and there's some key strategies to follow in making this kind of watering cans. So let's check. This is the cap. First you need to take this cap. Zoom. This is the cap. It has, uh, it will have a paper at this side, but you need to remove that. And this is an oil can. This oil can will have some oil residues inside. That also should be removed by cleaning with soap and then washed four to five times with pure water. And you need to make holes like this. And this is how you need to make holes. I have made holes with hot iron nail and if you have something hot, hot um, molder you can use that too. And the next step involved is you need to make holes at the can. And making holes in can is you need to make a big hole and it is the key strategy I told you at the beginning. And it is because you need to make a hole at the top side because it will allow the pressure to go off if you if you only make holes at this side then if you close if you pour water the water will not come as the pressure inside the bottle catches the water inside tightly and what happens is if you put some big holes over here it will let some air inside and air will control that pressure inside which is made by vacuum will be released and then the water flows out very easily. This is the key strategy and if you make with bottle, that's what every person misses. If you want to make a water can which is perfect, you need to make holes. If you didn't do that, a big hole here. If you didn't do that, the water will not flow out easily. You need to then press tightly, press tightly, press tightly and your life will end up like that. So don't try to do that. That's why many people think that we cannot make a watering can at home and we need to buy at a garden store. It will approximately take nearly 250 to 300 to buy a watering can. But it's just 15 rupees. I got it from I got it from a waste paper mart. And if you use oil can at your home, it's for free. Okay, let's I have made holes here. Can you close up more? And this hole is because the air will enter inside and make the pressure release out and it will help in water to come out very easily and I'm going to draw with marker I'm having black marker I'm just drawing a margin for that so that it won't look uneven this part will not look uneven This will also look like a design for whoever loves whatever the design may be. I am not a good designer but I am just saying if you want to make 
a better design you can make whatever you like to make on this is it we will see how it works so let's get started I'm filling in water so let's check how it works and what are the mistakes we made this time see how it works it works very well and it is because that the water inside is not pressurized if you want to make some more small holes that will be more easy because if you are and this is will help you because it is not going to be useful on big plants you can just pour using a watering mug and bucket but it will save ki some kind of water and it will evenly spread water throughout the soil and the next thing to say about is it will also uh, if you grow small seedlings it will help in the plant's growth and if you use uh, a force of water then the plant or the seedling may fall off if you use this kind of watering um, can it will be useful to your plant and it will save money the best thing about doing diy is it it saves money a lot than anything else it saves money and if you want to make a garden without spending much on then it is best to make more diy i'll make more diy to you and show you how to make your garden an eco friendly and re reusable garden and i have used these paint buckets i have reused it by making holes i'll show you what are the steps involved in growing in this kind of container and i have used some kind of wood wood it is the wood uh, we got from a fruit shop and they gave it for free for me because i'm a child so they are giving it for free but if you are an adult they will ask at least 10 rupees that's not a big matter you can give pay just 10 rupees uh, right but it is it is not as plastic because it will not last as plastic because as wood is a decomposable material it will decompose within 3 months if you grow some kind of annuals like tomato chili then it is best you can if you grow some vegetables that's good if you want to grow fruit trees in container don't try to grow in wood and in next video we will look at many more tips on uh, diys and make your garden money free and not making you trouble by giving more money or by spending more money on your plant thing to say about this its benefit is what it can benefit is if you grow small seedlings in containers or big containers if you pour water in it the seedlings may drown down or fall down and get died immediately but if you want to make the plant grow very well or it should be sturdy then you can use what you can because it will release the water slowly not like you pour down with jug and pump or water this is it folks Thank you for watching my video subscribe my channel and we we'll make more and more uh, diy projects so that we will if you subscribe and get more uh, feeling to get more and more videos for your information thank you happy like share and subscribe my video to make me motivated happy gardening